Hello everyone, uh, myself Dr. Nancy Zahiri and today we learn about exponential curve fitting y is equal to a e raised to bx. So to fit exponential curve we take one example determine a and b so that y equal to a e raised to bx fits the following data of x and y. Now the form of exponential curve is y equal to a e raised to bx that we want to fit in the given data. So first we take logarithm both sides of equation 1. So take logarithm both sides of 1 we get log y is equal to log a e raised to bx. Now by using the rule of logarithm we can write log a to the base e plus log e raised to bx to the base e by using the rule log a b is equal to log a plus log b so which is equal to log a to the base e plus bx log e to the base e by using the rule of logarithm log a raised to m which can be written as m log a now here log e to the base e its value is 1 so by putting the value log e to the base e equal to 1. Here we get log a to the base e plus b x is equal to log y to the base e. Now assume that capital Y is equal to log Y to the base E and capital A is equal to log A to the base E. Therefore, the above equation can be written as capital Y is equal to capital A plus BX. And the form of this equation is a linear form. So, we can consider it as straight line which is a which is an equation of straight line we consider it as equation number 2 now we form normal equations related to this uh, equation number 2 so to form the normal equation first we take summation both the sides of this equation to Therefore, we get summation y is equal to summation a plus summation bx. So, summation y is equal to a summation 1 plus b summation of x. Now, summation 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 plus up to 1 n times and that is equal to n. So that's why here we get summation y is equal to a n plus b summation x right and that is this is our normal equation 1 but we consider it as equation number 3. Now to write other normal equation we multiply equation 2 by x and then we apply some both the sides of equation 2. So multiply equation 2 by x and then apply summation for the second normal equation therefore by multiplying equation 2 by x we get summation y is equal to a x plus b x square we multiply this equation 2 by x and then we apply some both the sides Therefore, sum xy is equal to sum ax plus sum bx square. 
so which can be written as summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square equation number four right now we have the normal equation equation number three and equation number four now uh, we make a table and we find all the required values that is summation y n is equal to number of given data pair of data that is 4 summation x summation small x into capital y and summation small x square so we have the x y data are x y that is 1 2 3 4 y 7 11 17 27 now capital y is equal to log small y to the base e then we require small x into capital y and then we require x square okay so how to find log y to the base e so to find log y to the base e we use this uh, key in scientific calculator 82 ms so log y to the base e can be find out by log 7 which is equal to 1.9459 1.9459 similarly we can find log 11 is equal to 2.3979 in similar way we find log 17 is 2.8332 and log 27 is 3.2758 now x into y that is small x into capital y which is 1 into 1.9459 that is 1.9459 2 into 2.3979 so 2 into 2.3979 which is equal to 4.7958 4.7958 similarly 3 into 2.8332 that is 8.4996 and here 13.1832 now x square is 1 square that is 1 2 square that is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 so here the summation of x square is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 that is 30 summation of x y that is 1.49 1 uh, 4.7958 plus 8.4996 plus 13.1832 so which is equal to 28.4245 and which is our sum of x um, x into capital Y and similarly sum of capital Y that is 10.4728 and sum of cap, sum of x is equal to 10 okay now here by using normal equation we put all the values in normal equation 3 and 4 so by putting these values in normal equation 3 we get here summation y is equal to a into n plus b into summation x so summation y is equal to 10.4728 is equal to 4a plus summation x into b that is 10b and which is our equation number 
फाइव सिमिलरली फ्रॉम नॉर्मल इक्वेशन नंबर टू दैट इज फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर फोर हियर वी गेट समेशन एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट फोर टू फोर फाइव इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू समेशन एक्स टेन इंटू ए प्लस बी इंटू समेशन एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज थर्टी बी विच इज इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स ओके नाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल ए एंड स्मॉल बी वी मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेशन फाइव बाय थ्री एंड देन वी टेक द सब्सट्रेक्शन विथ इक्वेशन सिक्स सो वी गेट हियर टेन पॉइंट वी मल्टीप्लाई होल दिस इक्वेशन फाइव बाय थ्री सो हियर वी गेट थर्टी वन पॉइंट फोर वन एट फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ए प्लस थर्टी बी and our equation number 6 is 28.4245 which is equal to 10a plus 30b so here we take subtraction here 30b 30b is cancel which is equal to 2a and 31.4184 31.4184 minus 28 point 4245 which is equal to 2.9939 therefore capital a equal to 2.9939 divided by 2 therefore capital a is equal to 2.9939 divided by 2 is equal to 1.4970 1.4970 right now we use this uh, value of capital a in equation number 5 and we find the value of b so from equation number 5 we get 10.4728 is equal to 4 into 1.4970 Plus ten b, therefore ten point four seven two eight minus four into one point four nine seven zero is equal to ten b. So ten point four seven two eight minus four into bracket. वन पॉइंट फोर फोर नाइन सेवन जीरो इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फोर एट फोर एट एंड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर एट फाइव देर फोर बी इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर फोर एट फाइव स्मॉल बी इज इक्वल टू ओके ना हियर वी हैव कैपिटल ए एंड स्मॉल बी बट वी रिक्वायर एज पर द एग्जाम्पल स्मॉल ए एंड स्मॉल बी सो वी एज्यूम्ड दैट इन इक्वेशन नंबर हियर वी एज्यूम दैट कैपिटल वाई इज इक्वल टू लॉग वाई टू द बेजी कैपिटल ए इज इक्वल टू लॉग ए टू द बेजी सो कैपिटल ए इक्वल टू लॉग ए to the base e this implies that a equal to e raised to a which is equal to e raised to 1.4970 which is equal to so how to find this value so we can find it by shift this e raised to x function so e and its power is 1.497 Which is equal to four point four six eight three. Four point four six eight three. So this is our small a value. Therefore, our uh, the curve which we want to fit is y equal to a e raised to b x y equal to a e raised to b x that the curve we that we want to fit so y is equal to a equal to four point four six eight three 
into e raised to the value of b is equal to 0.4485x. So this is the curve that we want to fit exponentially and uh, we can find it out also in the calculator the value of a small a and small b right so how to find it so first we take a shift mode we erase all the previous data so to erase press 3 to erase all the data press 3 which is equal to now and uh, we take uh, mode and we take first regression so uh, press 3 and here we uh, we want to fit exponential curve therefore exponential curve for exponential curve press 3 again so now we enter all the data in which we want to fit the exponential curve so how to enter the data so here we enter the data like 171 comma 7 and we press m plus for each and every data then 2 comma 11 m plus 3 comma 17 m plus 4 comma 27 m plus so we have entered all the data now we can find this all some values by using this calculator we can verify all the values so here summation x so we uh, first uh, press shift and then s variation uh, s sum so, so for summation x press 2 and we got get here 10 right here for summation x we uh, press shift and then s sum now for summation y shift again shift shift s sum for sum y press 2 and we get here 10.4728 then for summation of x y again we press shift sorry shift s sum we use this forward key and we press 3 for sum xy. So press 3. Sum xy is equal to. So which is 28.4246 after rounding off. And again shift s sum. For summation x square we press 1. So press 1 and which is 30. Right. So we can verify all these values by using calculator. Now how to find this uh, fitted values that is uh, small a and small b. So for that we use shift as variation and we use this forward key. Uh, we press 1 for this value a. So press 1 and which is equal to 4.4683. Right here 79 that is just uh, some error after rounding off then shift again as variation again we use this forward key press 2 for b and that is 0 0.4485 so by using this calculator we can verify our values thank you all